Hey YouTube, Jeff checking in. Hope you're all doing fabulous. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about a recent email that I got from Stockfresh. Now Stockfresh isn't a uh, microstock site that I have talked about before uh, on my um, YouTube channel. I actually just uh, uploaded 53 images years ago and I basically forgot about it. Uh, it just wasn't uh, selling uh, and I never bothered uploading more images and so um, as m per my normal practice I just don't delete things after after they've uh, been uploaded and I just kind of leave things and uh, let them go on their own. Anyway, um, recently, uh, last night, I uh, received an email from Stockfresh uh, saying that Stockfresh is closing. Um, so, yeah, I logged into my account um, for the first time in a long time and uh, noticed that I had $23 in my account, uh, which isn't uh, particularly exciting. Um, but I also wanted to talk about this email. Now, lots of stock agencies have come and lots of stock agencies are gone. Uh, it's a pretty, um, I would say, it's not a stable, stable uh, business. Uh, the big companies have done well, the little companies. Some have hung on longer than I've expected. Um, some, some of the bigger companies even, I think, are probably uh, due to disappear. But what I wanted to talk about in this particular video is the following uh, paragraph. Why are we closing? And let's just read what this says, in case the print's too small there. As you probably know, the stock photography market has changed a lot in the last few years, and we don't feel we can make a meaningful contribution anymore in the current business climate. The disconnect between what customers need in 2020 and their expectations regarding prices in a market that's been oversaturated for years makes it really difficult to build and grow a sustainable stock photography business. Therefore, for the time being, we decided to focus our efforts on other projects. Now, I think that's pretty significant for stock contributors as well. Look, we all know that the market's oversaturated. It's been driving down um, the revenues that contributors can make and really pushing people out of the market altogether. And what I see here um, is a warning for the future. Uh, that we're likely to see smaller companies continue to disappear and the bigger companies continuing to drive the uh, royalties that contributors can make downwards. We're in, a, we're in the kind of environment where purchasers of uh, stock images have access to low-cost uh, stock photos they have access to free stock photos through the internet sites that are providing uh, free stock photography um, from contributors who just want to have stuff published. Uh, and I also think that uh, Instagram, for example, has really helped drive uh, prices down as more and more uh, brands uh, like tourism boards use Instagram and uh, free uh, Instagram tagging as a way to uh, generate interest using imagery that in the past they had to pay for. Um, and that's just the reality. So what I think is going to happen is that there is going to be continued pressure from Microsoft companies to push down the royalties paid to contributors to keep the margins that they have now, even as customers of images continue to demand lower prices for the stock photos and the stock videos that they buy. Now, the other thing that some companies can do is, is uh, build their business into a larger platform, like Adobe Stock has. They have a suite of products now they're selling stock images within that suite, and they have a business model that can't be replicated by other shutter or other stock photography companies very readily. Um, so 
you know, Adobe might be sort of isolated from this pressure, at least for uh, the time being. But as these companies fall away and fewer and fewer incumbents are left in the market, then they'll have less incentive um, to treat uh, the community, the photo photographer community well. And either way, I see the prices um, declining, the royalties declining along with those prices, and contributors being squeezed out and replaced by new contributors who don't mind the uh, lower royalties. And if you know, if it comes down to it, um, maybe the free stock market uh, replaces the paid royalty free market altogether. And, and that's a real possibility. Uh, and so I see this uh, email from Stockfresh as an acknowledgement that the market is oversaturated and that it is going to be very difficult, not just for stock photo companies, but also for micro stock photographers to have a sustainable um, income or business in this area. And it's it's kind of sad, but uh, again, more evidence that this era of uh, micro stock photography uh, is potentially coming to an end, at least for people like uh, myself who are horror amateurs and just doing this as a side hustle. And um, maybe without the access to all the, you know, the models and the locations and all that kind of thing. I just, I just don't know where we're going from here. Anyway, I thought I would share um, this with you. Uh, if you're a stock fresh uh, contributor, I'd love to hear um, your thoughts. And if you are a stock fresh contributor or you upload it to stock fresh, then make sure you check your account and see if you've uh, passed the $50 threshold because Maybe you uh, have a few days to get that money out of your account and uh, move on. All right, hopefully uh, you like this short video and we will see you on the next one. All right, cheers. Take care.